Welcome to Will It Fill It, a series of SolidWorks video tutorials presented by the Demani Group. In Will It Fill It, we take a look at the fillet tool in SolidWorks and ways we can add tricky and problematic fillets to our models. My name is Andrew Lowe. I'm an industrial designer with the Demani Group. In this installment, we'll take a look at optimizing fillet intersections. So sometimes the fillet tool can get us 90% of the way there, but we may want to do a little bit of manual cleanup work to get a really nice smooth aesthetic intersection. In the example on the left, we can almost clearly see the different fillets that were added to the model. With the example on the right, we get a smoother, more controlled transition of what that uh, fillet intersection looks like. So I'm going to go and fillet this model, and the fillet tool has no problem adding the fillet. But what we see in red is when we add this final fillet, we get two different results. And these happen when we add fillets to our model and they need to taper to nothing to add the for the fillet to complete. So I have two different examples here. This example, which I like to call the smiley, the fillet dives up. And this example, where the fillet dives down, I call the frowny. These are very scientific terms. So a way we can go about optimizing these intersections, if I were to remove the appearances from the face and we take a look at what this geometry actually looks like, we can clearly see where this one fillet is diving into the model, and we can also clearly see where this fillet is. So perhaps I want to have a better, uh, more aesthetic result. I don't want to live with the uh, what the fillet tool gives me. Maybe I want to optimize these two fillets. Because even though the faces or the lines aren't there, we can almost see the outline of the edges of these faces. So what I'm going to do is use the split line tool. I've just added some splits between these vertices here and here. And on this one, I require one more on this plane. So now that I have a new outline for the, the fillet, I can use the delete face tool to clean up these, these intersections. I'll use delete and fill. And note that this is a much cleaner result. We can see that the fillets kind of seamlessly blend into the surrounding geometry, and I don't see those hard edges of the fillets that I saw before. So for parts that do have high aesthetic requirements, sometimes the fillet tool creates these awkward corners, the smiley and the frowny. One thing to note that if we section through, the smiley is actually adding material to the model where the frowny is removing it. I like to think that the blend between them is Goldilocks. It's just right. So I'll use the split line tool to define areas for these blends where I want to remove these awkward fillet intersections. And I'll use delete face to remove them. Here I've taken the same part and applied a highly reflective black finish to it and set the environment to strip lighting to, to really see how the reflections jump off this part. So we can see the one fillet where the reflect where the light's hitting, we can still see that that sharp point where that fillet comes in. We can see that sharp point where this the frowny dives in. However, if we look at the blended transition, we can see that the the light smoke flows a lot more smoothly through these transitions. We don't have the awkward edges that we had before. We have a much smoother transition. So while this may not be required for machine parts, if you are designing parts with high aesthetic requirements, consumer products, uh, this can be a useful technique in your arsenal. So I hope you enjoyed this installment of Will It Fill It? Please follow the Demani Group on LinkedIn and YouTube, where we'll be announcing new videos in the series.